Hey everyone, this is the epic of all epic estate sales hauls. I am super excited to share this on Thrifty Thursday. I am putting a link to Sheree's um, YouTube channel, Turquoise Dreaming, and I uh, hope you join in. Anyone can join in on the hashtag Thrifty Thursday. But anyway, let's get started. So I, I went to this estate sale looking for a dryer. So I have a washing machine in the house where I'm staying. This is just a temporary situation, but I found out I will be here nine months longer. And so I thought, you know what? I really need a dryer because I've been taking all my clothes over to my friend's house to dry. And I feel bad because it's been going on for a really long time. So anyway, I went to go look at the dryer and um, didn't end up buying the dryer, but they were having a great estate sale. And apparently, the husband died five years earlier and um they are now downsizing or something like that i don't know but anyway they were getting rid of everything and this couple they did not get rid of one thing the house was full and so i literally went two days so i went the first day just to check it out so i wanted to get the look at the dryer and i bought a couple of things that i felt like these are things that i really wanted or needed for upcoming uh, journals that I'm making. And then second off, um, I went back on the last day on, on Monday, so four days later, and everything was 75% off. So I just showed up on a lark and thought, well, it's not very far from my home, so I thought I'd go check it out and uh, just see if there was anything left. Well, to my surprise, they had a lot left. <laughs> so. But anyway, so I will probably have to do this in three, in a series of three. So let me get started, and that is enough of that introduction. Okay, so this was on the first day. I got these boxes. Of, I saw them in the corner of my eye. They were on the bottom shelf, and they are just, the boxes themselves are so cute. But then when I opened them, they actually literally had little vintage note cards in them. So I thought they're so pretty, they're gold foiled. These are actually by Hallmark and they feel like they're on some kind of rice paper. I'm not really sure, but aren't they sweet? Super sweet. And I got this box, which is high value assortment, 21 all occasion cards. I don't know that there are 21 cards in here, but I just, I love the box. Uh, let me open it. And then to my surprise, they had a stack. These are all just the envelopes, I believe. Yeah, all the envelopes. But they had a stack of these sweet vintage cards. And some of them even have glitter on them and gold foiling. So pretty. Look at this one with the birds. You know, and if you don't like this part, just put a label over it. Simple. Look at that one glittery and these have not been used this one i'm saving for myself because i love daisies so i'm actually going to set that aside for myself look at these with the mugs on it this would be cute for um the kitchen journals but see this would be cute for the kitchen journal and just put something over that you know what i mean and it would just look so adorable in a kitchen journal you know how everybody has their sweet little window in the older homes? So this one's so pretty. And then look at this little cottage. Oh my gosh, with the glitter, I can't. They're so pretty. So yeah, got those. So I got this uh, playing card set, really pretty with little blossoms on them. Looks like lilac and maybe dogwood. Or magnolia, I'm not really sure. But anyway, I thought those were super sweet. So I picked those up. They were on the same shelf as the cards. And so were these. These were not in the kitchen, which I thought were kind of random. Uh, I got these on the first day because I told you I'm working on my cookbook journal. So and I didn't have any vintage recipe cards left. So these were um very cool. Look at the one with the stove on it. So these will be going in those cookbook journals. My cookbook journal stash is now probably enough to make 20. I just thought I would let you know, not that I'm going to make 20 of them. I do have some homemaker kits that have vintage aprons with them and a piece of Melmac comes with it. And so um, I think I have one of those left in the shop if you want to go check that out. 
one or two. I think there's a pink gingham, which I laughed because I found another pink, pink gingham apron for $4. Now I did snag these. They were $4, these aprons, but there were no stains. They are gorgeous. They're pristine. And the stitching on them is just so beautiful. And I could not pass them up. So I did pay $4, which I felt like was extremely a great price already at four dollars and plus i'm glad i didn't wait for the last day because all the aprons were gone so i just picked four of my favorite look at this one this yellow rose one with the uh chiffon is this not gorgeous ah oh, so beautiful lined with the yellow chiffon so pretty i think this woman made these these look all handmade uh look at this one this one has pleats all the way around, it's all pleated, starched. Oh my gosh, these are just, yeah, these are all handmade, just gorgeous. And then this one was the only one that had stains on it, but I had to get this for my vintage camper because my vintage camper is aqua and pink. And so um, I had to get this one. I will work on trying to get the yellowing out. I don't know how to do that, but this one looks like it was worn and much loved because I think this was the only one that I saw that was a full apron, but I will try to get it as clean as I can, can get it. Um, and then it'll go in my camper on a hook in there. So I pick, did pick up that one. So yeah, these were all $4 and I'm, like I said, I'm glad. And she definitely wore this one because she didn't even fix it. It's just, uh, safety pin on, but she did have a sewing machine, so I don't know why. Yeah, not really sure why that wasn't fixed, lady. Okay, I got, so I just can get this out of the way. Um, I ended up grabbing this, I went into the office and I found this ivory parchment paper. It is a full on box of 500 sheets of parchment, parchment paper in ivory. So I did buy that and they only wanted $3. Like seriously, I did get this on the first day and I'm glad I did because all the paper products in there, they were gone. I got one pack of 24 pound paper, HP inkjet, their highest quality paper. And I paid $4 for it, which was a great price for 500 sheets. So I was I was happy, but I just, I should have gotten more, more of it. Cause after I left there, I was actually going to use that paper for like printing. And I thought, duh, Jonna, you could, um, coffee stain it, tea dye it, avocado dye it. And then, so I went back on Monday and it was gone. All the paper was gone. <laughs> so anyway, alrighty. Um, I got this. Now these were all gone when I went back. So there was a whole series of, uh, states and then their uh, state flower so this was the american beauty rose i got the district of columbia one because my father used to work in dc and we lived in alexandria right outside dc and also because it's a rose so this one's going to be going on my mother's journal that i need to get working on okay and then i got some more linens and I got this one for Queen Elizabeth. It is her coronation, 1953 handkerchief, commemorative souvenir handkerchief. I'm going to send this one to my sister. She, I think I got her another one, but uh, she loved um, the British royal family. And so I got this. Look at this sweet, pretty sage colored. Oh, I just love handkerchiefs and I laundered all these now so, and ironed them. I got this one for my gardening journal. So pretty. This one uh, wasn't finished. Apparently it had, it has the print here where you're supposed to fill it in and do the thing. But um, anyway, it was not finished. So only one side of it got finished, but it's still gorgeous with this little sweet, tiny little lace on the edge. And yeah. Um, there, there were some floral handkerchiefs, so I got pansies. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it's pretty. And then this one, pocket full of posies there. I got this one for myself to put in my journal because it's an M. It's my last name. I got this one to use for the cookbook journal. Uh, 
about this one. It's Love Begins at Home, and it's from 1974 because one of the cookbooks I'm doing is um, this kind of coloring and from 1974, so I thought that was really cute. I got these for my own camper. It says Variety is the Spice of Life. And I thought these were super cute. I'm not gonna unfold them because we'll be here all day. And then there was another one, Variety Spice of Life, and this is in the aqua. I think I paid a dollar for these. And I got this pillowcase, which this pillowcase is gonna end up going in my camper because I needed um, the pink and green for my camper. So I got a couple actually. And these, I think I paid like, well, this one was $2, but I paid for the, for um, two pair of pillowcases, which I'm glad I bought them because when I went back, they were gone. Some like must have come in after I left, between I left and then Monday when everything was 75% off and they just took all the linens and all the bed quilts. She had beautiful quilts, but they were asking a ton of money for them. And I know it's a lot of work and all that, but I just, I didn't need them. I have one for my camper, so I didn't need one. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. This is going in a cookbook journal. I don't know how I'm gonna use it yet, but look at this. Ah, I just love it. Maybe a fabric flip, I'm not really sure. On the bigger ones I'm doing, I could probably get this in, or I could cut this and make that like um, a pocket. That could be a pocket, or this could go on the page as a fabric flip, this much of it, and then the flower and the coffee cup. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing to it. I'm not really sure, but oh, I just love it. Or it may go in my studio because my studio is all these colors. So that may not make it into a cookbook journal. Oh, no, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, but this is going to, <laughs> this will go into a cookbook journal. This is from 1965. I am still on the hunt for 1964. And I'm so upset because I can't find 1964 for my camper because it is a 1964 zipper. And I have been looking for one of these 1964 forever. And I wish this one was mine because I love daisies. I wish this was 1964, but it's not. So I have not found a 1964 one. So this is going to go um, probably in one of those cookbooks. Or It's really good though. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I don't need 1965. I need 1964. But I got it anyway because I had daisies on it. Super cute. And I, like I said, I'm doing those cookbook journals, so somehow I will find a use for them. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on. I did get, I found this bag of randomness. So this was, I got this on the last day. So this was $10, which to me was a good deal anyway for all this stuff. My sister actually went to West Point, so I may send that to her along with that. Thing. Anyway, it had all kinds of just travel ephemera postcards. Um, here's some pictures in here. I did not go through this. Apparently, they went to Florida because there's several uh, there's several things from Florida. All right, let me pull them out, and we can quickly just go through them just to see what's in them. Uh, these were the newer ones. Um, they're newer ones. So let's see. Golf Hall of Fame, Golf Hall of Fame, Memphis, I get to get there. Another Memphis one, another Memphis one. Apparently when she moved to Memphis, she picked up all kinds of maybe postcards to send out. Lots of Memphis ones. Memphis and Beale Street in Memphis. And Memphis, and here's one for Graceland. I need to give this to my friend who loves Elvis. I'm not cool with the moon. That's a great shot there now. Memphis, William C. Handy. Don't know who that is. Is that bad that I don't know who that is? Uh, Graceland, Graceland, Field Street, and Graceland, Seashells. Elvis at home. Oh my gosh, that's the one I need to give her. The Pink Palace. Is this? Uh, I think the Pink Palace. Is this the one that he bought their ranch and they went? That was for their. I think it is. I think it was for their honeymoon. 
that's Circle G Ranch. I don't know if it was called the Pink Palace. I'm not really sure. Later on, these are all in, well, that's Disney. That's Epcot. Here's the pyramid in Memphis, which I just found out there is a Memphis in Egypt. I, I didn't know that. That's Germany. Oh my gosh, it's going to take forever to go through these. Jacksonville, Florida. And yeah, so these are not like old, old. Arizona, Arizona. Oh, cool. One of these little vintage holders. Anyway, um, Cala, Pikes. I didn't even know these were in here. Stack of old photos. I had no idea. They're all farming. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so amazing. I'm going to have to put like the better ones in my Ko-Fi shop. Look at that with the sleigh. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. With the horses pulling. I hope there's some. I hope there's some more of those. These farming photos are amazing. Am I still in focus? It's winter. One is for repeats. They're bringing in the sheaves there now. Look at the sled. Look at the old sled. Oh my gosh, there's three of those. There's wagon. Wow. There's no names on the back. These are postcards. These are postcards. Oh, look at that. They're bringing in logs. Oh, my. Okay, these are so cool. This one you can't hardly see. I know there are apps out there, though, that restore them. We'll see the picture on it and restore it. It's not blurry. It's up in the attic somewhere. Here's an old farm. This guy, his workhorse. Here's the farm. It's like it might have been a grain mill or something. And then another of the three kids. And then here's two women. And here are a bunch of guys. It looks like a cannon or something in the background. Anyway, that's fabulous. All right. And then I've got more postcards. Okay. I'm just going to, um, here's some more photos. Oh, here, here's another whole stack of photos. Oh, my gosh. This is surely a treasure. I had no idea these were in here when I bought them. There's a cow. Here's some kind of sawmill shed. Here's a bunch of the farmer family right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these are all postcards. This one was done upside down though. <laughs> that one's done upside down. These are all postcards. They're all postcards. Interesting. Family homestead. Look at this old car. Oh my goodness, look at that. These are fantastic. I had no idea. There's the person doing the sled, doing the uh, horse. Look how small they are. Look how big this horse is. Is that just an optical illusion? The horse looks massive. Is that like a little kid being pulled behind it? I can't tell. Oh my gosh. These are fabulous. Look at the guy riding this horse. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, so um, for all the rest of these, but look at this big stack. Alice in Wonderland, here's a bunch of Disney. Disney ones, Florida, these are all like, looks like Florida. Okay, what a great find for those photos. Um, let's see. Okay, so I, I don't know how, where am I sitting right now? Okay, I'm gonna do five more minutes.
and whatever I can get to in the five minutes, and then I'll call it quits from there, and then I'll come back for, uh, I'm probably going to end up having to do four hauls. All right, I got the laser inkjet printer labels. You know me, I will pick up these labels because they are fabulous, not only that I can use them because I have a laser printer, um, but also for jelly plating or um, alcohol inking or painting or whatever. They're great labels. I should pick them up. Okay, so one thing I'm not going to be able to show because I'm having it fixed. A friend of mine knows how to fix typewriters, and he is fixing my typewriter for me. But I did get a Smith Corona uh, typewriter, manual typewriter. It is the Super... I think it's called and um it is adorable it's in its own little case and everything portable manual typewriter and um so anyway um having not repaired because the space bar is not engaging and um but anyway it they wanted twenty dollars for it and i bought it for 75 percent off so you guys do the math on that one <laughs> it was worth it so here is this copy paper, but it's for typewriter. So you put it in the typewriter and you make duplicates of whatever. But this is a lot of fun using this in your artwork if you've never used a uh, typewriter copy paper. You can uh, draw on it and do transfers and stuff with it. So that is fun. So I did pick up that and I love the cover of it. It's just great. Okay, and then I found a little baggie that had some doilies. Now, I found these plastic doilies, which I've never seen these before, but these are going to be fabulous for using as a stencil. They're plastic. And so um, I got a smaller, there are four small ones, and there was a bigger one in there. So that, and these all came in. Here's some other uh, vintage doilies. Um, I do enjoy using the vintage ones because they, instead of the new ones, because they're embossed, they're beautiful, and they're a lot more intricately cut. And talk about intricately cut. Look at these. These are so tiny. They are probably three inches. These little tiny doilies. Are those not the cutest? So I got those. That was all in one pack. Okay. Then... I got two awesome finds and then I'm going to leave you and I'll be back. I got this box was out in the garage. I don't know why it was in the garage, but they marked it recipe box, $8. I got this on the first day because I knew that this was not going to be there. It's a Sears old metal index card box, but like seriously people. Okay. Let me move this over. <laughs> I'm so, I was like, my heart was palpitating. Okay, look at this. I got the mother load of handwritten index card, uh, handwritten, hand typed, regular brownies, yum. Uh, look at them all, recipe cards. Oh my goodness, there are so many in here. And then there's old packaging and, you know, how you cut it, cut it out of the old packaging that's in here. And I'm so excited because I'm doing those journals and yeah, this is going to be amazing. So there's even little like, like here's an old Campbell's soup, barbecue beans, beans and ground beef soup. What? I never heard of that. Beans and, beans and peppers. Interesting. So anyway, there's all kinds of old recipes and old packaging recipes. Like, look at this. It's a whole packaging here. Wool code. Don't even know what this is. Pizza recipe on here. I make my own pizza dough. Um, hopefully this is washed and not with bugs in it. Well, it looks like it's been off. But it is for pizza pans. Oh, my goodness. Aluminum pizza pan bag. Seriously, reusable and disposable. Also for cookie sheets and pancakes. <laughs> this is definitely going to be making it into my, I don't know how I'm going to do it or what I'm going to do with this. I may maybe try to put white paper behind it and scan it. I'm not sure. And then I'll tuck it in the, tuck it in the cookbook. Here, this looks like it's off of old Crisco. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to. Yeah, it's an old Crisco label. Sure is. 
see if I can get it on deal. Eight cents off. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So anyway, there um, because this had recipes in it: pan fried food, deep fried foods, mashed potato cakes, chicken croquettes, corn fritters. So anyway, um, I'm so hot fries, hush puppies. Like I'm so excited about this. This came off of probably corn, cornmeal. Yeah, I was super excited about this. Look at this is off the old. Um, do you remember these crackers? The chicken in a biscuit. Sure do. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Look at she took some kind of old punch card and she put on sausage biscuits. Sausage biscuits. So anyway, I don't know if you guys are as excited about me, as excited about this as I am, but I'm pretty excited about it because for eight dollars, yeah, come on. Okay, so I got that. All right. Now for the piece de resistance, I found this in the office underneath the stack of printer paper on the bottom shelf. Da, da, da. I bought this on the first day. It is a massive, I want to say it's like 16 inches tall uh, ledger, but the best thing was when I opened it. Okay, not only the marble paper, come on, but all of this beautiful handwriting and it is from the 1800s into the 1900s it's from a cigar shop look at this handwriting 1903 oh my goodness i was so thrilled okay so i went right to the desk and there wasn't a price on it and i and so i asked the girl i said how much for this ledger there are even like pinned in pinned in this is rusted pin um, so I asked the girl how much for ledger. So she looked over at whoever was running it and the lady goes up oh, $20 and I'm like trying not to like freak out because I know how much you go for, especially with all the handwriting. So I said, okay, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to check out now, even though I wasn't ready to check out now, but I wanted to lock in my $20 price and make sure nobody got it because they had holding tables there. And I didn't want anybody taking it off of the holding table, but look at this. Oh my goodness. Davis city. I don't know where that is, but it has like all these cities. I'm not really, I didn't really look at it. It looks like it's from Wisconsin or something like that. Toledo, Ohio. I don't know. I guess they own the cigar business. Cause that's what this is Chicago. And they probably did like sent the cigars around, but some of these, they made, they made some good money. Because there's some stuff in here for $109, $107, $172. Like, they made some good money. For this is $1889, $1888. Yeah. That, you know how much money that would have been? $771 for this one person. Profit, $313. They put, they put this profit in here, the profit margin. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, I am beside myself about this ledger. Oh, then it's got some blank pages in the back, but the majority of it, 280 pages, that's the last page, all has handwriting. And I have one other like this. Okay, then here, then in the back, there was this whole thing of all these manufacturer of cigars, receipts, and then all different imported clay pipes. So this must have been like a smoke shop or something like that back in the 1800s. Manufacture of clay pipes. Yeah, 1885. Look at these. They are pristine. How are they in this good of shape? I have no idea. 1885. Oh, so I got that. Anyway, I thought you would be celebrating with me. Um, Muscleman Grocers Company. This is 1907. So 10 boxes, two and a half gross, 216 imported clay pipes. Okay, this person was from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So this person, whoever you are, the Gernscheid. Okay, I don't know. Oh, this is just um, like notebook or ledger paper or something. Notebook paper, what do they call that? Legal, legal paper. Yeah, anyway. The binding is still together. I am not tearing this up, but I will be making copies. <laughs> I can't, I can't tear it up. I have one that's old that was already falling apart. And that one I didn't care that I tore it up because it was already like roached. But this one is in such good shape. 
So, and my friend's like, well, just enjoy it. Oh, I missed two things. I missed two th other things that I got. So I got this little blue um, tape measure and then I got the Seagram's Weekend Bar and Barbecue book, which has the cutest little people illustrations in it. Oh my gosh, very 1950s, I love it. Okay, I don't know what that is. That's a photo of a birthday cake. And then I got the Seagram's Vacation Time Food and Drink Guide, which this again also has the cutest little illustrations. Look at them. Look at them with their little fondue thingy. The uh, little hoedown. This reminds me of um, back in the day, I used to watch the Mickey Mouse Club when it was in black and white, and they had that show, remember, that was on like the ranch, the little ranch. Oh my gosh. Okay. So cute. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So <clears throat> thank you again. I think I said so about 10 times. Um, thank you again for joining me. It, I've been on here for half an hour and I will be back for part two of my state sale haul. Stay tuned.